We get into a fight. I slap her, and then she slaps me back. <laughs> but she had a diamond ring on, so when, it, when she slapped me, it, it cut me here. Oh, that was a fun scene. Jennifer Lopez. We actually are friends and like each other. Hi there. Jane Fonda here with The Hollywood Reporter. I'm going to be sharing some stories involved with my most memorable movie lines. Are you ready? I'm not such a bad guy. You're a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. Well, I said that in the film Nine to Five when I was fantasizing what I'd like to do to my boss, played by Dabney Coleman. It was so much fun. Dabney was the best bad boss in the whole world, and, um, and I got to spin a gun and threaten him with it. If anybody's gonna sit on Ryan Gosling's face, it's gonna be me. That was the very first episode of Grace and Frankie. I have just found out from my husband that he is leaving me to get married to his law partner, who is Lily Tomlin's husband. As I'm about to move out of the house, uh, a FedEx delivery man delivers a box that has a chair in it with Ryan Gosling's face on it. It was ordered by my husband, and I take it and bring it to the beach house where I say to Lily Tomlin, Frankie, if anybody's gonna sit on Ryan Gosling's face, it's gonna be me. <sighs> that? But nobody's done that for centuries. That sounds like a Barbarella line. You see, I'm, I'm on the planet of evil where they don't make love anymore. And in fact, what we do is we take a pill and then touch fingertips and when you orgasm, your hair stands on end. I don't know if you've seen Barbarella, but it's a nice scene. I think since Barbarella was an evolved woman coming from an evolved planet, that she would have taught the people on the evil planet how to make love, but really make love instead of vice versa. Oh! Oh my God! Viola, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah. You don't go and slap somebody and then apologize. Get some backbone. <laughs> oh, that was a fun scene. That was monster-in-law. I'm, I'm the mother-in-law of, of Jennifer Lopez, who's going to get married to my son. And she comes into my room. I've gotten ready for the wedding. And, of course, I'm dressed like a bride. Oedipus, anyone. Um, and we get into a fight. I slap her, and then she slaps me back. <laughs> but she had a diamond ring on, so when, it, when she slapped me, it, it cut me here. So we, we had a nice little fight. We actually are friends and like each other, but it, was, it was a, got a big, big laugh in the theater, the two of us slapping each other. Mr. Goodell, you lied to me last night. We're not going to leave here until you tell us what happened at the plant. China syndrome, yes. I, I play a reporter. She, she is at the plant at the time when there's a plant meltdown and the whole place shook, and I want to know, I want to get to the bottom of it, and, and uh, it's, it's, a wonder, it's a movie that changed a lot of people's minds about nuclear energy, and I, I'm really proud of it, with Michael Douglas, who produced. Flat back, straight legs, bounce, 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 bounce. Well, that, <laughs> that sounds like a workout video. <laughs> that was when I used to do the Jane Fonda workout on videos, which were very big sellers. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm not there. <laughs> I was about to be put into a paddy wagon to be taken to uh, jail, and I had handcuffs on, which these days are white plastic, but they hurt. And um, I had received an award, and um, I, I, I wasn't at the award ceremony. I was being arrested, and so I think I held my hands up to the camera with my handcuffs on and said, I'm sorry, I'm not there. Um, apparently it was very well received during the ceremony. I, I want to be your friend. Oh, I want to be your friend. Mm, that's a scene from On Golden Pond, which I produced with Bruce Gilbert. And I'm trying to 
get my father to open up to me. And I, he's in a boat where he, he's been fishing and I walk, wade out in the water and tell him that I want to be his friend. And it was a very, very intense and emotional scene for me to play with my father. It was the first and only time I've ever worked with my father. It was a, a favorite of mine, a really important movie for me. And he died five months after it came out. So it was, it was really special, you know. I never would have dared say to my father in real life, I want to be your friend. But I did want to be his friend. And his character of Norman, that was kind of like he was. And I think he did think I was fat. And um, so there was a lot of our real relationship in that movie, and it was cathartic. Historically in my career, 60 years long career, I, I've tended to like characters who started off not very strong, women who were not empowered and were maybe confused and too male dependent or something and who in the course of the movie they go through transitions and and become strong women that's something that's always appealed to me eventually in doing that you then end up leaving your own skin and entering another woman's skin and and bringing it alive and that's what's exciting about making about acting, whether it's theater or movies.